Hey guys, Pete here. Today I wanted to tackle one of the mysteries from the first three parts of Twin Peaks The Return. And I'm talking about the mysterious glass box. I actually started out thinking about more than just the box in New York City, but realized that there's plenty enough for a whole video here. So next week I will get into episode 3's beginning sequence and the character Dougie. I would have liked to limit the scope of the spoilers here to just the first two parts, but some of what we saw in part three is likely important here, so if you haven't watched episode three yet, come back to this video after you have, otherwise it'll be spoiled. The glass box was introduced early and located somewhere in New York City. As the name suggests, it's literally a giant glass box and it has a porthole to the outside. It's surrounded by cameras that are constantly monitoring it, and it's sitting on top of a lot of electrical equipment. Now, I'm no expert in that, so I don't know exactly what all that stuff is, but it definitely looks high-tech. We know there are people who are hired to watch the cameras watching the glass box, and what little info we get about it comes from one of the hired hands, whose name is Sam. Sam is a college student who watches the box to make some extra money. He has no idea what the box is for, but tells us it was set up by an anonymous billionaire who he's never met. Sam's friend Tracy stops by to bring him coffee, and we learn that the laboratory, for lack of a better term, has 24-hour security and that no one besides the hired help are allowed in. However, the next time Tracy stops by, Sam goes out to see what's going on because he doesn't get, you know, the alert from the security guard, and they both realize that there is no security guard there. This allows Tracy to get inside and potentially set an event into motion. Tracy makes a move on Sam and the couple proceeds to get down. As they're making out on the couch, Sam notices something is happening with the box. At this point, we see a white figure that has human features materializing inside the box. This thing is never totally visible, you know, it's pretty blurry, but it's plain to see that it's not very happy. It continues to get more agitated before it ultimately breaks through the glass and slashes Sam and Tracy to death. In a nutshell, that's the info we have. Now I've read some pretty interesting ideas and theories, both in the comments here and in some different articles, and I was looking at Reddit as well, and some of the things that I've read about the glass box align with my own thoughts and guesses, and some are a little bit further out. For me, my first question about the mysterious box was, and still is, was it set up at a point similar to what, you know, we know Glastonbury Grove to be, like a portal, or does it somehow function to draw energy, or in this case, an entity, in its direction? I think the previous is more likely, but there are clear problems with both explanations, which is what makes this so interesting and fun to think about. If it's a portal like the Ring of Sycamore Trees, why is it upstairs in a building rather than somewhere on the ground? On the other hand, if it's a catcher of sorts, like the electronic equipment pulls otherworldly stuff in its direction, who on earth would have enough information to put something like this together? Either way, we have seen two different events inside the box, so let's look closer at those. What I haven't talked about yet is that Agent Cooper made a stop here on his transition from the Red Room hallway back into the real world. This is presented in a nonlinear fashion. Because Sam is out in the hallway looking for the security guard at the exact same moment Cooper enters the box, he passes unnoticed and only the camera footage exists as a clue that he was there. In the timeline, the white figure shows up just after Cooper when Tracy and Sam return to the room. So are these two things connected? Like did the figure follow Cooper or is it just completely unrelated? Now an article I read on moviepilot.com, was, it was written by Alexandra Eckstein Kahn. She points out two viable but pretty different possibilities, right? So the first would be the figure is a manifestation of the arms doppelganger. And, you know, there are some definite similarities, especially the mouth, you know, just the way the two things look. Could the doppel arm have sent Agent Cooper out, which we know that it did, and then followed right behind him? The second option is that these two things have nothing at all to do with each other. They just happen to ha you know, occur right after one another. So there, the white figure was attracted by what was going on in the room. Why would we think that Sam and Tracy attracted the, you know, the figure? Well, 
If you remember back to season two, Major Briggs tells Wyndham Earl that fear and love open the doors to the black and white lodges. I know this is terribly open-ended and vague, but we know that Sam never saw anything while watching the box by himself. This could be a clue, or a red herring, that they're making out and the fear that was involved with that may have played a part. There was obviously strong feelings going on, whether they were lust or love is up to you, but there should have been a, a real fear of being caught. We could go completely in Major Briggs' direction here, because I think he is important especially based on the secret history stuff, but I will explore that more in the video about the opening sequence of part three that I'll put out next week. For me, the next logical question is who set this room up? The possibilities are endless, like literally, but here are the things that I've read from least to most likely in my opinion. Number one, it's Audrey Horn. We haven't seen her yet and know she's coming back, but that's pretty much the total of all of the evidence related to this theory. So I think it's pretty unlikely. Number two, it's Mr. Todd in Las Vegas. This is possible, but again, the basis for this idea is that we really don't know who he is yet, and that we think he is probably influenced by Bob through Evil Coop. Personally, I think Mr. Todd's related to the Dougie situation, but we really don't know enough yet. So it could be Mr. Todd, but still not very likely. Number three, Evil Coop set up the box himself. Now this is somewhat likely, I would say. Coop would have more info than most people about the lodges and the portals related to them. So it might just be him that set that thing up. Um, we don't know what his resources and things are, but he's obviously not hurting based on that Mercedes that he drives around and, you know, whatever. We just really don't know that much, but he could probably string it together. Number four, and this is who I thought it was when I first thought about this, I think it probably, the most likely candidate anyways, is the person who Evil Coop talks to through that electronic device in his briefcase. This could be someone impersonating Philip Jeffries, um, David Bowie's character from Firewalk With Me, or it could actually be Jeffries. We may never see this character, so it may not, we may not need David Bowie for that to be a confirmation that it's Jeffries. What we know is that this person is connected with the Lodge stuff, as he says that you know he will be with Bob again when Evil Coop goes back in, and we know if he's not Jeffries, he at least knows who he is. He also mentions Major Briggs and the mystery around him pretty much points to him having some sort of power over Evil Coop, if not anything else but information. He seems to have access to information and things that Coop doesn't have himself. So I think that's what's most likely. Now I want to hear what you guys think. Like I said, I will be following up with this and we'll talk more about Major Briggs and the secret history next week. But for right now, what do you guys think's up with this box? Do you think we're going to learn more about this stuff? Or do you think it's just something that's supposed to be a mystery? I think it's pretty clear that it is connected to the box that we see in outer space. And that's why I'm making that into a second video. But what do you think about that? Do you think that's what that is? It's just that whoever set it up, they set it up as a, as a catcher to sidetrack things from going where they're supposed to go. Or do you think that it's just there because that's a very sensitive place? And who do you think the mysterious billionaire or, you know, that's, it doesn't even have to be a billionaire, really, someone that has a lot of money, who do you think that is? Also, the security guards, they disappeared. And another thing to think about related to that is because they disappeared, the FBI now it has access to all that information. Remember, Tammy was briefing Cole and Albert, and I took that to be that they have in custody all of the, the digital tapes, so that would mean that they're going to realize that Cooper passed through there. So yeah, I don't know. Tell me what you think about this mysterious box, and let's go from there. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you soon.